So from men's singles to women's singles and the beaten finalist from a year ago, Wang Sing of China, number three seed this year, up against the number six seed, Saina Nawal from India. So it looks as if Wang Sin has won the toss of the coin and has decided that she wishes to start at the near side of the court, nearest to us as we look down on it. Sign and Ewell, 21 years of age, world ranking of six, but she has been as high as two. Win loss record for the year, very healthy indeed. And that translates into one title and two further finals. She won the Swiss Open, beaten finalist in the Malaysian Grand Prix gold event. And the player she lost to in that final was her opponent of today. Also reached the final of the last tournament she played, the Indonesian Super Series event, where she lost a thrilling final to Wang Yi Han. So a year ago, Sina Nawal was the number two seed and she lost at this stage of the competition. She lost in the quarterfinal to Wang Shoshian, who of course this year is the number one seed. So movement at the top of the world rankings. Wang Xin, the left-hander, 25 years of age from Liaoning province. And not only silver at the World Championships last year, also silver at the Asian Games, where she lost out to the player who has replaced her as world number one, her teammate, Wang Shoshian. Well, 20 and 6, her win-loss record for this year. Two titles, obviously the Malaysian Grand Prix, and also the Singapore Super Series event, where she beat a certain Tina Baum from Denmark in that final. So the court officials for this quarterfinal, Kang Xing Jung from Korea and Cormac Breslin from Ireland. So as far as these two players are concerned, I know in the uh, Men's singles, we were talking about the fact that Lee Chong Wei had been breezing through the tournament so far. Well, as far as Sina Newell is concerned, she too has been breathing, breezing through because she had a bye in the first round. Second round, she had to play against Chloe McGee of Ireland. And then yesterday, disposed of the number 14 seed, Ip Hui Yin of Hong Kong. In fact, the Hong Kong player retired in that second game. Only 46 minutes in total that Sina Nagel has been on court. As far as Wang Xin is concerned, she's had a much tougher route through to this quarterfinal. So the fifth meeting between these two players, the silver medalist from a year ago, the number three seed, Wang Sin, left-hander there from China. And her opponent, the number six seed, Sina Newell from India. So, as I was saying, this is the fifth meeting between these two players, previous four, and the left-hander holds the advantage, having won three of them. But, Morton, I guess the most significant match is probably the last one, and the last time they met was in the Sudaman Cup, and Sina Nawal won on that occasion two straight games. Very easy indeed, 21-15, 21-11. Uh, I totally agree, that's uh, always the most significant, it's uh, the last match you played, uh, that's what's on your mind and you either, you know, got to keep the, the
the trend or revenge yourself. Service over. Pull one. Sona Nawal only on court for 46 minutes for her two previous matches, as in total. Whereas Wang Sing was on court for Service one minute shy of that, Pull just in last four. night's match against the number 12 seed Petia Nedelcheva. Dropped the opening game in that one. The Bulgarian actually just ran out of steam in the end. Yeah, good rally. But Morton, I have to say that Simon Engel has just looked in stunning form so far in these championships. She's looked exceedingly sharp. I don't know whether you got a chance to see any of Wang Sin yesterday evening, but she looked a little bit nervous, perhaps a little bit sluggish. Didn't seem to be playing with the same sort of carefree abandonment that she did a year ago when she reached the final. No, but uh, that's what we've discussed a few times before. Is that there's a lot of pressure on, on the Chinese lady singles, um, and they seem to be crumbling a bit uh, under this pressure. They have good days and bad days, like anyone. But uh, I think, uh, you know, when they have their good days, they are world number one. And when they have their bad days, they can uh, not lose to anyone, but they can lose to quite a few. Yeah, that's running. That's trouble. Yeah. Is, is part of that the style of management of the head uh, coach in China, Li Yongbo? Because, of course, you know, a famous incident last year, the number one player at the time, Wang Yihan, as world number one, was told that she had to prove herself again because she lost the first singles in the Uber Cup final against the Korean player. And she wasn't selected as one of four players for the Asian Games. Yeah, it's... Um it's just tough in China. Obviously, they're asking very, very high standards. Uh, nothing but the best is good enough. And um, they have so many players to take from, so the competition is fierce. Yeah. Very fierce, I would say. And, um, and sometimes I'm sure the management in, in China is, is using, you know, the, the fear, the, the fact that, you know, if you're not performing, you're out because they have so many to choose from. Just missing with that smash. Sign and Ewell, 21-year-old from Hyderabad. Oh, that's a good shot. Yeah, Sina has looked uh, strong, as you say, this week. It's not really been tested, but uh, she's looking strong. She's got good pace so far. And uh, what I sort of look at most is she looks like she's got a lot of self-confidence. Yeah. Well, the last tournament she played, she reached the final, the Indonesian Five. Super Series event. But I was talking to her coach, Bulela Gopichand, prior to these championships getting underway. There he is, a former All England champion, himself fine singles player. And he was saying that training at his academy in Hyderabad had been going so well and he was really feeling that his players were, were ready for these championships and they've looked it, haven't they? Oh yes, the India have had a, a very good uh, world championship here, no doubt about it. They have really done well. And it's nice to see that there's just what we saw in the men's singles here from, from Guatemala. We suddenly see, uh, you know, other nations doing well at this uh, world championship. Yes, of course, in the men's singles, not only first ever player from Guatemala in quarterfinals day, but also the first player ever from Vietnam. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Well disguised. Service over. Seven. All. Long. Now obviously, one sin having picked up a couple of silver medals last year in May 
major, major championship. She's a fine player. But what really is the strengths that we should be looking out for? What are her real qualities? Um, I think she's a, a very good all-rounder. Um, she plays with good pace. And, and what I think also, she's good changing her tactics. She's good uh, exploiting different areas uh, of the game and then suddenly, you know, changing it all around. Um, and if she plays with good disguised shots as well. Is a good runner, good fighter. I, in, in my opinion, you know, we've we discussed it a few times and uh, potentially, I think Wang Yihan is the best, potentially. But if you look at it right now, I think Wang Xing is pro possibly the best of the four they have. Here is Long of that back line. That's cool, good, but I have my doubts about that. That's well shouted. <laughs> Oof, that was out, surely. Well, no argument, just a little look from Sina Nagel towards the umpire, but no overall. That's too far away from him. Yeah, the umpire's only allowed to change the line judge's decision if he sees that a clear error has been made. I think Wang Xin has chosen this uh, end of the court uh, with care because uh, she's playing, I think, a little bit against the drift. And we've seen so far that Sina has played a few out on the baseline because she's playing with the drift. And uh, it makes a difference. It makes a big difference. So, it's Wang Xin from China who has the advantage at the mid-game interval. Two-point advantage to be precise. Zhang Lin, the current Olympic champion, now coaching the women's singles player. Former world champion too. Yeah, she was around in ladies' singles for many, many years. It was very unusual to see that China was having a singles player lasting for that many years. She must have been uh, on the circuit for at least 10, 11 years. Yeah, that's, that's right. Very, very unusual. Yeah, she was 32 when she won her second Olympic gold medal. Yeah. And I remember she was in the Chinese team in 1998, maybe 97 in Sweden, so she was around for many years. So is there something that Sina Nawal should be doing a little different here, tactically? Uh, not yet. That's that's what I like. Sorry, that's what I like about Wang Xing. She sees a small chance and she's intercepting it, and she's playing a really sharp shot. That's what she's good at. Um, Sina just have to make sure that uh, this is going to be a, a long and, and hard match because I think she's on the physical side, maybe have a small advantage. Um, but uh, it's not, I think, a train smash as we say. If she's losing this first set because I think she will find it easier to play on the other side. For her, it's all obviously to have a, a long first set and you know stay with Wang Xin for as long as possible to, to drag this match into at least one hour. That's good play. Oh, very good play and the run of points for Wang Xin finally comes to an end. It was six straight points. Good judgment. It was. Service over. 15, 10. It's 
See, again, she is seeking these half chances. I like that. And uh, especially in ladies' singles, it's very difficult to sort of change from being in an in a attacking situation and then suddenly having to get into a defensive situation. You, you will find that ladies' singles, they find the transformation very difficult. Another call that Sina Nawal was not convinced about. Sina is definitely still possible for her to win this first set. She needs two or three good points now and she's way up there. But it, it's got to be soon. Service over. 17, 12. Disguise, good angle. 13, 17. It's fascinating if you can see Sina Nawal just as she's about to hit an overhead, she really relaxes the fingers on the racket. Yeah. She's got to watch out playing that shot, Sina. She's got caught even two or three Sorry, times on that. Drop shot she's playing, Wang Sin sees it very easily, get up very early and put the pressure on. Yeah, and of course that's one of the dangers of playing cross court, isn't it? Because it is. if, if your opponent gets it back, then you've got the full diagonal of the court to scamper. See now she's moving in. That's really well played. And I think it played on Sina's mind that she was caught on the cross court the last few times, so she had to play straight. And Luang Sin is straight away moving in there. She's not even considering the cross, uh, cross one because she knows that Sina is scared for that one. So really good play, really, really good play by Luang Sin. from Wang Sin. Understandable, because she's earned herself seven game points. That's good pressure. Oh, remarkable. The net cord on the backhand drop from Wang Sin. And then a net cord from Sina Nawal. Repays the compliment. Look at that. She did well to control it because yeah. the shuffle got deflected. Yeah. So difficult. Yeah. Wang Sin not ready. Can play the point again. Oh. Yeah, that's two game points saved. It is, though, a lot to save seven. Okay. Yeah, this time. Umpire confirming the score. 21-15 in 14 minutes of play. And Wang Sin looking very impressive indeed. saying, come on, keep those feet moving quickly. She seemed to be saying, look, you're doing great, especially moving forward. And she certainly was. I felt she was really commanding the front of the court. Good 
ऊपर पास की मात्र करते हैं यहाँ से बाहर है I think it's important for Saina to find the baseline. If she yeah. can't find the proper length of her shots, she's in deep trouble. Yeah. First set wasn't too good. She's got to find that baseline. coach Pulela Gobujand appeared to be saying you've got to get it deep into the back corners behind Wang Sin mm. because as soon as she's turning especially on the backhand side to play that backhand then of course Sina Newell can yeah. go forward to the net forward, forward. but that also means she's got to find the baseline as she did not do in the first set The tactician is Pulela Gopichand, very quiet, considered man. Second game, no more play. So the number three seed, Wang Sin, having taken that opening game 21-15. Can Sin and Abel implement those tactics? Appeared to be a gap on that forehand side, but she was lurking the whole time, waiting, and then counter-attacking. That's she's waiting for that one. Well played by Wang Xin. That was a bit of a miss hit. I understand Sina Newell is going to start working with uh, Ramke, former Indian cricket performance analyst. Sorry, He's going to do some work with her about her tactics and uh, study of opponents. Okay. Cross sport. Use of. Could be good to have uh, input from other sides. That's Absolutely. Sometimes they see something you don't see. Well left. You know, she was off balance as she played that. Yeah, she should be able to control it, and I think she's quite frustrated, even though uh, slightly out of balance, a shot like that should be controlled. I mean, she's good when she's getting underneath her, so she's attacking. Yeah, she has nice movement to that round the head position, as we call it, and you still play with the normal overhead action when it's down your backhand side. Unusual sort of start as far as badminton is concerned for Wang Sin, not the usual sort of Chinese coming into world badminton. She only came into the international scene in 2009. And yet she joined the national training camp when she was 17 or 18, promptly picked up a very serious back injury. So she only stayed two months. She was sent back to her provincial uh, team. And she There's no way of that. OK. Yeah, and because she's 25 and, and she hasn't been along uh, on the world tour for that long. And then back in 2009, she did very well in the national games, mm. China national games, and she was invited to try out for the national squad again. Promptly beat everybody in the national squad, and so she was invited back again. And look at her, silver medal in That's really, world really championship. fantastic determination. I think. Yeah, that's good. I, I didn't know that. Now she, see, see, that's what happens now. Is like five, what would you say, two inches out? Five, six, seven centimeters. Service over. Six. 
four. Well, there's no doubt in my mind that Wang Sin is winning the battle at the front of the court at the yes. moment. Sina have to do that. Put more pressure on, on that baseline, but obviously that's, that's what I was trying to explain before, that transition between she's not really in, a, in, a, in an attacking situation, but we, we're fighting for initiative and suddenly this attack is coming and she's not ready for it. That transition in, in, uh, in ladies' singers is really difficult for the girls to do. Because of the leg, leg strength that's yes. needed? Yes. Even though they're obviously very strong and very fit, it is very difficult. Yes, of course, changing direction then it, is what we saw here. very difficult physically. And this is a good little lead from one sin. Five point advantage now. Nine, four. Yeah, that looked a little bit of a, a panic shot to me. Desperately yeah. wanting to win the rally. Yeah. Over keen. Yeah, angry shot as well, I think. She's got to stay calm. She's got to play her shots. And that is way out. Ten, four. Five straight points to one sin. Time for Sina now. Yeah. Catching up is essential. Three more points. Service yeah. over. Eleven. Not five to be. Interval. Because a six-point advantage for one cent at the mid-game interval. 22 minutes. Well, perhaps that long match last night on Sin against Petya Nedelcheva of Bulgaria, perhaps that uh, really sharpened her up. Whereas Sina Nawal hasn't really been extended until this quarter final. Yeah, it can go either way. Exactly, it can go either way. Play the game, you know. You know Cotton how it affects you. 20 seconds. Cotton one, 20 seconds. So, and of course, the Commonwealth Games gold medalist last year in Delhi. The last gold of the Games, and it had major significance because it meant that India moved above England on the medal table. First time ever. Ever, ever. yeah. Huge, huge star Eleven, in her home five, country as Sina Nawal. Getting through the whole time. Yeah, and she's really hunting the shuttle. There was a net shot there from yeah, one sin. up so early on. Yeah. It. Yeah, she's very committed, Wang Sin. Getting everything early, going for the attack at any given opportunity. She's really, you know, forcing forcing this game. I think. Yeah. Not happy. Good shot. Well played. Bye, Sana. Yeah, that was the deep shuttle that got past Wang Sin. Wang Sin having to turn and take it quite late. Going out. Yeah. Yeah, famous sideways drift in Wembley Six. Arena. Just taken wide. Yeah, put away with venom. <laughs> and she's waiting for that forehand. You know, when Sino is playing that cross shot there, she's waiting for it. It happened on a few occasions. I'm sure they've done uh, quite a lot of uh, studying of uh, Sino's game. Hit 
Six. What a nine-point advantage now. Even whilst Gopijand is saying, come on. It's a big deficit to make up. Yeah, she's been very proactive, isn't she, one cent? Yeah. That was the word I was looking Six. for before. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wang Sing is in, in total control and demand. She, she's, she's just controlling everything. Another clear would be good now. Perfect. Completely controlling the game. Seven, ten, six. Finalist last year as the number two seed. And it doesn't look at the moment as if she's going to progress further in the quarter final again this year. The other one was going wide too. Service over 18-7. Service over 8-18. has played with great intensity. I know there was a, an error there, but for the majority of the match, great intensity, great speed. Now that's the one that Golpa Chan was urging her to do after the first game. Yeah, see if she could catch her in that deep backhand corner. And this is actually the first time in the in the match it's been possible to do yeah. so. Yeah. Ah! Oh, we've done it. Service over. 19, 10. Oh, and the error from Sion and Awood. Gifts. Match points to one sin of China. It's going wide. It's going wide. <laughs> First time of asking. And the silver medalist from a year ago, Wang Sin, is safely through to the semi final. Victory over. Sign an A1 of India. 21, 15, 21, 10. 21-15, 21-10, the margin of victory. In a match lasting just 29 minutes. Well, she looked very, very impressive today, did Wang Sin. And she is safely through to the semi-final, and she will meet the winner of Wang Yihan, the number two seed, her teammate from China, or Pi Hong Yan, who represents France. Now, that match uh, later on this evening.